G'day. Are you ready for another little challenge? This time I'm going to prove to you that every right angle is bigger than 90 degrees. Well, that might be a bit of a challenge. What we do is we start off with a square. So, all four sides are equal and we have a right angle in each corner in each, at each vertex. So far, so good. What we do is this. We imagine that we take one side and rotate it outwards just a little bit, say to this position. So this length is still the same length. And we now find the perpendicular bisector of this line. Perhaps I should change colours. Uh, this looks like a nice this black. I don't know whether that shows up clearly enough for you. We find a perpendicular bisector, which I'm going to try to guess as best I can. Goodness, this is a little bit of a challenge. That length, that's meant to be two strokes equals two strokes. That's hand-drawn, best I can. What we also do is we find perpendicular bisector of the base. So, oh, there's where they intersect. These are right angles, and I'll put three strokes here and three strokes here. Because obviously the, this length is going to be different from that one because this side's moved out. Okay. Oh well, you may as well have some fun with colours. We now join this to here and here. And first we analyse these two little triangles. Now because this point lies on the perpendicular bisector of the base, these are both right angles. These lengths are the same and this length is in common. So these two triangles, from here to here to here, and this triangle are congruent, which means this side is the same length as that side. I hope you followed me so far. Now, we draw, I'll use green again, we draw these lines in. From here, from these two vertices down. And we look at these two triangles from the perpendicular bisector of this line. Now, you can see they've both got a right angle. Because it's a perpendicular bisector, you can see that these two lengths are the same. We've marked them the same. And this line here is common to both triangles, right down to the vertex. So because of side, angle, side, these two triangles are congruent, which means this length and this length are the same. Now, we've got a problem here's the problem. If you look at these two triangles on the side, they've got this side the same, this one, this sides, these sides are the same, and these sides are the same because they're all they're equal to the lengths of the sides of the original square. So because of side, 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 this triangle here and this triangle here are congruent, which means that the angle opposite this side, the angles opposite are identical because corresponding angles of congruent triangles are congruent. Therefore, this right angle plus this angle matches this right angle plus this angle, and these angles are equal because they're in nice congruent triangles, plus this little bit. I hope you can see that. These angles are equal because 
they're sitting in these two congruent triangles at the bottom. The two right angles are equal because they belong to the original square. But there's this extra little bit we added in by rotating the side out. And we've just proven that this angle matches this angle. If I take this away, you can see that this right angle matches this 90 degrees plus a little bit more. And I've just proven that a right angle is greater than 90 degrees. Well, I think you've obviously worked out that I've pulled the wool over your eyes. The challenge is for you to find out where and how. And uh, the good lesson here is that not all geometric proofs are clear proofs unless certain conditions are met. And uh, this is a good learning experience for you. I first came across this oh, in junior high school, I guess, about year eight or something like that, a long, long time ago. But I hope you've enjoyed it. Please leave your comments, like the video, and of course subscribe to find out about future ones. But this is just a little fun exercise in geometry. Thank you very much for watching.